Hi, I'm systems engineer Jason Green, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Pharonix Data Igloo to redirect folders, registry keys, and even user profiles to an unprotected area of your hard disk. The Data Igloo utility can be downloaded directly from Pharonix Labs and is also available uh, as a part of your Deep Freeze Enterprise download under the Redirect User Profiles and Folders folder, and we can see the link to the download there. Once you've downloaded and installed Data Igloo, open up the utility. Uh, important to note as well that in this example, I've installed Data Igloo directly on the endpoint. We're working using the GUI interface on the endpoint itself. Uh, but Data Igloo does also include a command line utility, IGC, which will allow you to deploy Data Igloo as well as uh, modify and manipulate the various uh, redirection configurations using a command line. Uh, so uh, it provides you the ability to um, manipulate Data Igloo on a number of workstations in your environment from a central server. The configuration of various redirection using Data Igloo is configured across three tabs, user profile redirection, folder redirection, and registry key redirection. You can see also on the main page of Data Igloo that we're provided the current status of deep freeze. In this case, we're in a thawed state. Uh, really important to note that in order for any redirections to successfully take place, we need to make sure that deep freeze is thawed on the workstation in question. Uh, for this example, I'm going to redirect the Pharonix user. Uh, just one quick uh, note as well, it's not possible to redirect any data related to a user when we're redirecting user profiles uh, to a user that's currently logged in. So we can see that I'm logged in as Jason. Uh, it's identified that that's a logged in user. We'll redirect the Pharonix account. On the right side, we're provided the current default location, which is the um, user's directory as uh, part of the C drive. And we'll click on custom location in order to redirect and click the redirect user profile button. Click browse beside the target. And in this case, we'll redirect the Pharonix user to a thaw space that I created when I installed Deep Freeze. Click on OK and click on redirect user profile. And Pharonix Data Igloo will uh, start to do its thing, analyze files and start to move files over. Uh, if you happen to have any files that are locked by uh, any other uh, processes, um, Data Igloo will back out of the process itself. So uh, really important to ensure that there are no locked files or folders prior to uh, redirecting data. And we can see now that the Pharonix user has been redirected to the E drive, the thaw space um, that we uh, took a look at. Another nice feature is down here towards the bottom, and it's a checkbox that um, allows you to redirect any newly created user profiles to that same thaw space. So uh, in this example, I only have the, the, the two user accounts on this system. Uh, but in an environment where perhaps you have multiple users logging into a system, and perhaps some of these users have never logged into the system before, um, in order to ensure that their user profiles aren't created over and over again each time they log in, uh, selecting this option will ensure that the user profiles are created the very first time in that same thaw space. They won't be created each time that user logs in. The next tab is folder redirection, and folder redirection provides the same sorts of capabilities as user profile redirection except specific to an individual folder. Uh, an example of where we might want to use this is perhaps log files. Uh, and in this example, I'll just select the Google Crash Reports folder. Select the target folder, click on OK, and uh, then we'll select the destination area. And once again, um, we'll redirect the Google Crash Reports folder to the thaw space uh, with the drive letter E. Click on OK, redirect folder, and OK. And we can see here confirmation that the redirection has taken place. And the very last tab, Registry Key Redirection, allows us to uh, redirect uh, specific uh, registry keys. So, um, you know, a few uh, examples of where this might be used. Perhaps you have an antivirus solution that uh, keeps a, a counter of AV updates in the registry, and you want to redirect uh, that specific key over to a thaw space so that that data is retained. Uh, perhaps wireless settings and you know specific to wireless settings we actually have a, a knowledge base article that allows you to easily redirect wireless settings on a laptop for example to ensure that your users who may um, take their laptops home uh, may travel uh, with them and, and need to add new wireless networks in hotels or whatnot are able to do so without those wireless settings being uh, eliminated each time the system gets restarted. 
for this example, I'll just select the Intel key redirect. And again, we get confirmation now that the Intel uh, key has been redirected to the E drive. That, in a nutshell, is how we use Pharonix Data Igloo to redirect data, uh, folders, registry keys, and user profiles to an unprotected area of our hard disk.